hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to discuss william shakespeare and his influence in english language as i already make a video on changes in language in 16th century in the renaissance so in this video we'll see the influence of william shakespeare on language and we'll see grammatical changes shakespeare standardization of english language and many more so let's get started so what are there are many contribution in the enhancement of english language by many poet writers of renaissance age and the most prominent figure of this age prominently was william shakespeare so they contributed in the development of language so another important name is erasmus as well so we'll discuss william shakespeare he helped separate the ideas of renaissance to masses mean at large level and use real people to inspire him and not themes from the charge and we'll see william shakespeare contribution so he played an important role in development of english language everyone knows that admit that he's a very prominent figure in history of english language as well as in literature and he had the largest vocabulary than any writers of his age and he always remained ready to accept new words so he invented many words we'll see them as well so words from shakespeare include antipathy catastrophe agile was many words he has introduced and so characteristics of modern english include great vowel shift so there was great vowel shift during the 16th century changes in in terms of sounds in vowel sounds and middle english long vowels change greatly but short vowels remain stable and now we'll see grammatical changes with respect to shakespeare at that age so and uh, as we know that another important figure before that in 14th century was chosa who contributed in promotion of english language enhancement of english language at that time people uh, english language was used by the commoners common people so it was inferior language but chosa right at that time to bring about change and english language become prominent at chaucer age so now we'll see shakespeare his contribution and and, and all of these so there has been a magnificent change in terms of in language in terms of grammar including changes in nouns adjectives this all have been discussed in one of my videos difference between old middle and modern english so it's not possible to discuss each and everything in detail here so these are our changes now we'll see standardization of english language by shakespeare so there is no doubt that william shakespeare has greater influence not only in theater of films not only in literature but english language as well so he invented many words he has the largest vocabulary of his age and so he invented and coined many words and literally thousands of words that shakespeare invented and some of words include manager fashionable oibal laughable gloomy lonely and william shakespeare had knowledge of seven languages and usually made direct cards in other languages directly in plays he wrote and it is incredible that he had vocabulary of 24000 words and most of any writers of this age now we'll see standardization of english language so standardization basically refers to the process of something becoming standard or well known renowned or you can see refined so english language was refined at that time so writings of shakespeare actually influenced the english language as his work contributed to standardize english language rules grammar in 16 and 18 centuries so the words phrases that 
he wrote and embedded in language, especially in Dictionary of English Language, developed by Samuel Johnson, and that was a great contribution towards English language and introduction of new words as well as phrases in which the English language borrowing of words. So Shakespeare was the first to use 1700 words created by borrowing from other languages so changes verb into adjectives nouns and vice versa these are all different modes that he can use to invent or make create new words adding suffixes prefixes and he had several phrases that are still very much part of today's language and some invented words so in explore more of common words that were permanent playwright created gloomy here yes important word in today's language by william shakespeare so he turned this into adjective and then his major works of this age include titus andronicus merchant of venice these are his words where he introduced new words lovable majesty majestic from the word majesty was first used in and then uh 1570s shakespeare used the word majestic in the tempest one of his play and in 1400 the word alone was shortened to lawn from this word he created the word lonely which is still used and uh, so many words he introduced in uh, of his other works included in hamlet words honest worthy popper so these are useful terms and we'll see more of his contribution in his comedies the taming of show shakespeare used the word undress while the rent was first seen in hamlet and it came from the dutch term renten that means talking foolishly and here are some more words he used in his writing include eyeball and then absence and then call blooded addiction arch villain assassination and then belongings eventful fashionable inaudible and ladybird and many more unfortunate table in romeo and juliet so this is his work he used in his important works so some more words manager mimic scuffle negotiate outbreak grovel so so in a nutshell we can say that william shakespeare has greatest contribution in english language and he influences very influential figure in the history of english language both contribution in literature as well as in terms of language so due to the most prominent writers from previous ages joseph william shakespeare and all the writers authors and poets english has flourished and now see the status of english language is it is one of the international and widely spoken language in today's world and it's very prestigious language today in an international language spoken worldwide so this all is due to the contribution and influence of writers of previous ages so being a uh, part of this world is our own responsibility to separate english language and it become part of everyday life and no one denied the fact that it become basic need of each and every individual in today's world you see each and everything the language of internet the language of science and technology each and everything is in english so we must promote english through different media so it become a very crucial part of communication of today's language so that's all about today these are some relevant links and i'll provide you notes link in the description thank you for watching